she seems to really have, you know, had celebrated the joyous benefits of living in a country that is incredibly tolerant. That I mean, she's the first lady of the United States. Her husband uh, is the president of the United States. She's made six figures in multiple jobs. Yeah, she's she was about making three hundred thousand dollars before he was even senator, uh, uh, yeah. U.S. senator. You know, and let me ask you this. Uh, you know what? I have a really. Could I think out loud here? Because I have a controversial thought. Okay. I'm sure. Okay. So let me just think out loud here for a second. Okay. I think, honestly, that some of their um, saying you can't make it, you can't make it, is because they didn't make it on their own. They didn't. They made it through George Soros and the Tides Foundation and, and everything else. They were picked up by people who said, that one. That guy, that couple, they were shaped by the collective. He's not a scrappy guy who made it on his own. He's a scrappy guy that said the right things, did the right thing. I mean, look at look at what he said he was going to do and what he's done. He answers to a lot of people. So I think that they think that, well, they didn't really make it on their own. They're still working for the man. I mean, they he did say you didn't build that, right? Right. You know? And I think that there's a possibility that they really do think that he still answers to the man. Some of us would say that answers to the to the to the republic and to the people, but he doesn't. Because he goes against poli- he goes against polls all the time. Which, you know, hey, if he believes that's right, that's what I want in a parent uh, in a in a president. I want a president who who listens to the people, but then when push comes to shove, makes the decision based on what he feels is right. We elected him to be our representative. I just happen to disagree with him, and his 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 scorecard is quite bad. He's wrong on almost everything he's done. In my opinion. And frankly, so is she. And and in her speeches, she keeps saying as potentially the first African-American first lady, because she's talking about how, you know, things were bad for her, too. So as potentially the first African-American first lady, she was also the focus of another set of questions and speculations, conversations sometimes rooted in the fears and misperceptions of others. Was I too loud or too angry or too emasculating? Or was I too soft, too much of a mom, not enough of a career woman? Nobody okay. asked those questions Hang about on just her. a second. Hang on just a second. Hang on just a second. Absolutely, the people around them ask the same questions, and they ask the same damn questions about Hillary Clinton. But the questions because we asked when- about her were because she spoke as if she yes. hated this country. Right. And she did it often. Right. She said things like this. Let me tell you something. For the first time in my adult life, I am proud of my country. For the first time in her adult life, she was proud. And Barack knows that we are going to have to make sacrifices. Mm -hmm. We are going to have to change our conversation. Uh, We're going to have to change our traditions, our history. We're going to have to move into a different place. And this. Because sometimes it's easier to hold on to your own stereotypes and misconceptions. It makes you feel justified in your ignorance. Okay, so that's America. Th- that's America. So, so Shh. this is she. This she was questioned, but she was questioned by the handlers, still answering to the man. She's ha- she was questioned by the handlers and the political, mm. uh, the political uh, theorist and and handlers, who were saying, "Look, you look like you hate America. You look like you're too angry. You look like." But I can guarantee you, that's she- exactly why Hillary. That is exactly what people like Hillary Clinton went through. You can I can guarantee it. Why did Hillary Clinton? Why did she change her name from Hillary Rodham? Remember, as soon as she got out, she was Hillary Rodham. She changed who she was because they were afraid she was too strong of a um, uh, angry kind of woman when she did health care. That's why it was destroyed, because she looked like an angry woman. The sort of angry feminist stereotype. Yes, and there's and there's angry men too. Angry men mm-hmm. don't get elected. Don't get things done. Mm-mm. Angry people don't get elected, and so they went through the same thing. That's why when Hillary Clinton, do you remember when Hillary and Bill were answering the uh, the questions on uh, at first with I think it was Jennifer Flowers, mm-hmm. and they were in, and they had this nice thing on CBS, and she looked 
like a mom. She looked like a wife. They were holding hands. She was soft-spoken. She was not that, and I tired of it. Because you gotta you gotta play the role of a mom. You gotta play the role of a loving wife. That's what happens in an election. She was questioned whether she was. Has dual. nothing to do with her blackness. Has nothing, nothing to, do, to with do with it. it. Nothing to do with it. You're 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 being handled so you can win the presidency of mm-hmm. the United States. And they they act as if that's nothing. I know. They act as if that's yeah. just nothing at all, and everybody has had it, and it's no big deal. And, I mean, mm-hmm. oh, so tragically sad. This is truly one of, I think, one of, if not the biggest, um, uh, missed the opportunities. saddest Oppor- missed opportunity mm-hmm. in perhaps the last 500 years. Yeah. This is be. just so tragically sad. It's just amazing. You're and talking remarkable. about the guy who made the most audacious decision in the last 500 years when he took out Osama bin Laden? I know. It's I a know. Tough decision. With his bare hands and tough his teeth. decision. That was a tough yeah. decision. Tough.